You're eyeballing me through the eyeball things. I know, and I don't Hello. even have, to, have well, to have it that close, but I'm all like. You really don't. You shouldn't actually have it that close. Oh, you could get. Am I gonna go blind? No, you could probably get scope eyeball. And smack, smack, ricochet, Whack. or recoil right into your melon. There's right a. Look at this, guys. Guys. Guys, I don't. Chris gave me this cute little box. First off. No. Shh. Chris had the cool box. I and stole you it. Swiped it. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, Look. no swiping. But then, but then, little package. But then, wait, there's more. You open it. Ooh. Ooh. Look at all the fun ah. stuff. And we put it like that, and then Phil can do the zoom, maybe. Zoom. He's zooming. Zoom, zoom. He's zooming. Look at it. You got a 510C. You got the MX, M3X, and it's in a combo. Combo deal. Combo. Like it comes with fries too. Uh, kinda, kinda. So you get your burger. Uh, is this the you French fries? Your fries, little three-time magnifier, and then you you might you might need you know to supersize it. So it comes with a little elevator deal so you can elevate it all and make it all like sit higher or lower and mount it to different cleaning platforms stuff. you got cleaning silica stuff. gel very important don't eat that yeah don't eat that some screws. comes with an extra battery tray screws screws all of your tools I was, I was in a third world country one time and gave another uh, military person from that country my mre and he tried to out of the pound cake. Did you try and stop him I beforehand did or did you really just let him do it and then just laugh? He was very mad at me. He thought I was taking his food. Uh, just because I I don't know, but what happens if you eat silica gel? I don't know. I'm not going to do it to find out. Um, I know there's a silica plant I mean, in I Pacific. don't think you'd be like dying, but I know that you'd be really thirsty. <laughs> well, it's, I mean, it's just a guesstimate. You'd be really listen thirsty. Listen to it. It sounds like Pop Rocks. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I mean, yeah. Alan, we will get to the sig box yeah, in a Alan's minute. Been on for a whole four seconds. So it's sweet. I know. So, it's all he cares um, about. But the five ten and a magnifier, uh, really nice clear magnifier. You guys know I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Holosun stuff. Oh, I can see you guys. You're like right next to my face. I have um, a little red dot on them. Beep boop. So uh, five hundred bucks gets what? you. Yeah. 500 bucks, the Dude, whole no, kit and caboodle. Yes, $500 in American dollars. Um, you get everything. That has to include, like, is that like after a rebate or something? Nope, that, that is walk That is walk in. in the store and buy $500 plus tax. Yes, and what? what's awesome about that is like we opened it up showing off. Bow, come in on Saturday. You get 20% off of it on top of that. Beep boop. Bow. Okay. So, um, Super neat deal, awesome for all your AR, AK, um, or otherwise things like mutants. They work great on mutants. And then you can have the magnification and the awesome circle dot. 32 MOA, uh, no, I'm sorry, it's a full size. So 65 MOA circle, uh, two MOA dot on the center. Pick and choose whether you want just the dot, just the circle, or the circle and the dot. 500 bucks. With that magnified. box even, that's pretty cool. With fancy box which once you put it on your rifle I guess you could repurpose that into being something else that you I don't could know really like cool. it's not quite durable enough to carry ammo you know what you can carry in this it's not big enough to carry ammo you know what you can carry in this snacks exactly my thoughts snacks and you keep cookies waterproof, waterproof snacks oh don't be teasing me about cookies any more than you already been teasing me about cookies do we have magnifiers in we have magnifiers in as well. Yeah, we got a whole new shipment of Holosun stuff. So we've got, um, we just brought in the magnifiers. So you got the magnifiers by themselves. I want to say those are 220-ish or so, um, 200, something like that. Um, so. I seriously cannot believe that's $500. Yeah. That's it's awesome. I mean, for the price, sweet. Uh, about the price, actually a little bit less than an EOTech, you get more. That's sweet. Or the price of an EOTech magnifier, you get more so okay. and it's gonna i mean it's built well it holds up it's with two almost three years on my on my mutant a couple thousand rounds and then the brand new 
21 round mag, 21 round mag, plastic bag, thing that says don't touch with the kid for guns. Ah! Wow! The M17, or no, M18. 18. The little one. So officially, the Marine Corps um, has adopted. <laughs> we should have had that on video. <laughs> that was sweet. That sucker just like flew like a little frisbee. Um, the Marine Corps just picked this up. This is going to be their uh, version of the 320 that they're going to be issuing to all the dudes and dudettes. Dudes, who are the, dudes? All the riflemen. All the crown eaters. And I wonder if it comes with crowns. Does it comes with a patch? It comes it's with. Well, this isn't Did technically the Marine military Corps? issue. So because this would, says U.S. Army. Yes, the U.S. Army. It's their. Uh, it's what their. I believe ah, their officers are getting. Um, and the the general officers and MPs and so forth. Which I don't understand why an MP would want a, much, a, a shorter version than a longer version, but. I don't make them rules, um, but so pretty neat. Um, it is based on the compact or the carry size version. So you got um, all the fun of four inch barrels, full grip. Um, it is cut for the, I believe the Romeo one. Don't look at me, I don't know. stuff around, but I believe it's the Romeo one. Let me um, see if I can. Or the Leopold Delta Point Pro will be a direct bolt in. Um, on top. It does have the ambidextrous safety for all of you safety fanatics out there that love the safeties. Um, I, I have to admit I don't necessarily hate the safety on here as much because you can still, I mean, it does give you a pretty good grip. Um, night sights and one of those interesting uh, SIG did it break triggers? Um, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna be really it's honest. It's different. It's just you, you pull the trigger and it's like without bullets in there, it has just an unusual sound. It feels I, like the something reset, may have been broken. The um, reset is not. But yeah, it's got a very hmm. Sig 320 trigger. I don't. Um, I don't know what this is compatible might with. Might be there. a little bit know. heavier than. Than their normal 320s, uh, based on whatever their requirements are. Uh, you know, the military, they're always all about it. Um, heavy pulls. Can we just, there I'm we sorry, go. can we just come in so here and. It comes just... with a, the 17 rounder um, and then two of the 21 rounders. Compatible with Romeo 1 Pro and Delta Point Pro. Thank you. Boom. So Romeo One Pro and Delta Point Pro. Neat gun. It looks funny like that. Neat gun. Yeah, but this is the one that's inside. Yeah, this one looks a lot better. Aesthetically, this is better. And then it's where all the bullets. It's like a, a scar. It's two tone. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> all the FDE, but all the polymer is one color, all the metal is one you color. You make a valid point. Um, so as far as what's not black is one color. So that's a big advantage. Um, and trying to get metal and polymer to match 100% without seracoating over, over everything, it's not really gonna be possible, um, but neat, neat gun on SIGs we have. So we got a couple of those things. Um, Six fifty nine on there, so why is not everything a bad today price. why does everything today feel so cheap? Inexpensive. We say inexpensive. Inexpensive. We have cheap, but that's not what you want. You don't want cheap, you want inexpensive. I'm just gonna hold it like um, this. So I don't know what we're talking about today. Guys to uh the good stuff. Rise two guns tomorrow. So rise two gun finals is tomorrow. Top eight head-to-head -head battles all the way down to only one person remains. We've got um, goodies it's you. from Rise. We've got goodies from uh, Edge. Edge. Uh, who else we got? Proper. proper. I'm trying to think of who I've taken pictures of. Edge, right. Rise, Proper, them. X Products. I don't know if X Products gave us a, has, has sent in anything. Okay. Um, um, TS. TS. 
uh, should dropped be off here. some stuff last night. Did he? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Dave was so here. they got their stuff in. I yeah, turned the corner yeah. of our office and I was like, I smelled Dave. That's a weird thing to say, but if you know Dave, you know that's a thing. He does like his Cologne. He he smells he like you Cologna. walked into a Macy's. The mail okay. section. Okay. But Macy's. Not not sure on, on that. A very sensitive nose. Um, who I don't, else? So. Mm, Core Circle Ten. Yep. Uh, XKM. I assume we have stuff yes. from Steve. Uh, XKM. Um, Contact. Contact. HSGI. Yeah. I'm trying to go through like the right. in my head like who I took pictures of for him. Yeah, it's and I'm drawing a blank. Essentially, we've been posting up a, a post yes. a day to thank our sponsors for that. Um, Vortex. Oh my God, there's. Yeah, Vortex. Yeah. Vortex donated. That's what I was trying to like Yes. Yes. So go like their pages. Um, big thanks to all of them for stepping up. Um, Rise was huge this year, and so. Hopefully we can get them to maybe do something like that next yeah. year. So every and match, Vortex sent uh, every month, of stuff. We, we gave a, Rise gave a $50 gift certificate away. So there was eight guys that went home with $50 gift yep. certificates. A couple of guys won them twice, so dirties, but. Dirties, uh, right. dirties. Oh, dirty. Yeah, and anyway. Vortex sent um, a Vortex ton sent a whole bunch of, of stuff. stuff, some binos, a Strike Eagle, a couple of Sparks. Couple of magnifiers. Yes, they sparks magnifiers. Um, I think we have two sets of binos. Ten has. Uh, they tried to keep it a little bit easier this time and give the shooters a little bit more opportunity for their own choices. So we've got some gift certificates for lowers from them. I think a build kit. Oh, um, under. Some other cool stuff under. Um, yeah, Mike just asked what was on my sleeve, and I was like, uh, yeah, under who does under, all our got jerseys. A couple of, uh, gift certificates for some stuff through under. They got a set of like cool guy. Little pants. They're they're called, they're, they're called joggers. No, I'm not talking about the joggers. I'm talking about like the. They're not really a combat pant. The ones you they're wore like for a competition pants. The ones you thing. wore for these. No. The other ones. No, they do have some cool. The other ones they're working on getting fun. for us people, some. not just paintballs. Yeah. Right. They yeah. Have, they have some that they're working on having a little bit more for the competitive shooter, but yes, they, they have some nifty stuff. Fair. Um, Proper's got a whole bunch of good stuff. We've got bags, Again. we've got uh, I think bags. pistol cases, some rifle yeah. cases. I got a couple backpacks, some rifle there, cases. Backpacks. I think the rifle cases are even the discontinued uh, 30, was it 36 inch they discontinued? Yes. The long ones? I think it's. No. I, 36 is the shorter ones. Is it 48? What is it? I don't know. Whatever well, the longer. It's in Dustin's office and it's been crazy and running. Whatever and stuff, the longer so rifle case is, yes, I'm pretty sure that's what they sent us. They, yeah, they discontinued the 42s. them. 42s. Um, I don't know. We have a whole. We, our offices yeah, I don't know what are, TS gave us. The, our offices are full of, of stuff things. right now. Yeah, it's fun. I it's never fun. thought I'd be so ready to give stuff away because I, I know Phil's tired of. Phil's office is just overrun by boxes right now. He doesn't like that much. No, he's much like me and has the, the OCDs. Yeah. But I mean. It'll be a good time. He's, he's you know. Like we said, if you guys want to come out and watch, come out and watch. Yeah, we'll try and do some sort of live on some of it, at least the final, the very final finals yeah. or beginnings or It's always a good time. Something, so we'll, we'll have some fun. Come out, see us, it's fun. I lost mm -hmm. the kniffy. You're throwing kniffs around. Uh, in other news, we, uh, <laughs> We were going to talk about this today and hope we could get some people to sign up for it, but we launched Silent Night and yeah. it's sold out in Silent under eight nights. hours. Yeah, one night. So the twentieth. Yes. We're going to do and we'll do it again. Um, it, it, this shows that like we should probably have more of these things quite a bit because there's obviously. I've a been lot trying to tell Phil. He won't it. listen. So threw it together, launched it yesterday. It's Silent Night. Uh, so starting at six o'clock, we've got Attorney Chris Cox coming in. He's gonna go over the legal aspects of how to do what, this, that, and the next thing for all things NFA. Um, after that, we got a couple of our guys that'll go over the, this is what a suppressor is, this is how they work, and yada, yada, yada. Cleaning then, them, different barrels, what what you need to look for uh, in parts as far as making it, I guess. More successful. Friendlier to your suppressor? May, 
I don't know how yeah. to like it. Like, just, it'll, I mean, it'll make it'll make operations smoother. Parts. Correct. Yes. Accompanying parts. Some things when you suppress, there's going to be some side effects from capturing it's that gas and some slowly algorithms. releasing it out the front. So it's going to change some things in the way that your particular setup is going to function. Yes. Or may. Um, or may bolt not. guns. You, you bolt gun guys. No, no issues, no changes. Uh, it will have a point of impact shift. So you will have to do some re-zeroing and once you kind of dial that in and do a couple of zeroing tests with and without, you'll have your dope for with and without and then you'll be able to, it is gonna make some slight differences um, depending on the configuration. Some are a little bit longer, some are a little bit shorter. Many are you know, a little bit shorter, but it's gonna change things ultimately. So re-zero, get some new dope, you'll be good. I did not know that. Yes, um, if it's a gas day. gun, you're gonna have extra pressures with most of the different um, setups that you have. So there'll be some offsetting negative aspects to extra gas pressure coming back. Um, so we'll go over all those things and kind of bring you up to speed on that. And then the most fun about it, we go downstairs and, and then you get to experience them. them. So we'll have a 22, 9, 45, 223, 300 blackout. Um, and we'll kind of look at some of the changes that happen both in sound and effects of yes. what you get. Also so. having different brands and different yep. options. Um, so we're going to work on getting uh, the only one that I know of that's out there that does things radically different is OSS. So we're gonna have to reach out Marquez to uh, I don't know where he is. He hasn't been on to yet some today. Peeps, um, and maybe we'll try and bring one of those in, which would be really neat because it's yeah. the only one that I know of that works a little bit different than the rest. Where it's in essence, it's a reverse turbine um, that kind of slow <laughs> more more slowly dissipates that gas pressure. So. It doesn't come back at the shooter. It still goes all out the front, yeah. just at a more reduced rate in a different aspect. I don't even know how to explain it, yeah. but it's nonetheless, interesting. it's neat, it's cool. Um, so try and get one of those set up so you can shoot that and see the differences. Uh, I know with ARs, when you suppress those, there's a lot of gas blowback that can happen. So <laughs> fingering it. Actually, I'm that'd probably tired. be a bad idea. <laughs> I ran an 18 hour day yesterday, Chris. Give me a break. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, thank you to all those that signed up. Uh, like Sam said, it sold out in like six hours or something like that. So uh, I think really, like right really at quick. seven. Yeah, so pretty quick. We um, had over half and the that class was not full until, in like an hour. Yeah, late in the evening that we launched it. So, thank you on that one. Another big one starting Friday is our 12 days of Christmas. So all of the members should have already gotten this and the non-members are getting that today that has the full list of all the things. And if you notice, we have some amazing characters this year. So we got Rich, Rich the, the Grinch. Grinch. We've got Frosty Dennis. the Dennis Snowman. We've got one of my favorites and so far has been one of the most popular pickouts is Phil in the uh, amazing Christmas story bunny outfit. Uh, we got Hermie, or <laughs> the Vinny elf, or Vinny the Hermie His elf. His mom's gonna love look that. At that. Um, obviously, you got Jeff as Buddy the elf, which is probably one of my favorites right there. We got Yukon Ron, because, <laughs> I mean, revolvers and stuff. Uh, and then our Flat Dustin making his Oh, Flat Angel's against. not on that one. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. I totally botched on that one, but... But you also forgot one on there. What's that? What, did, what else did I forget? Oh, and then at the bottom, anybody can name that one. It is, it is something. And it is the one that people have questioned, but I don't know why you're questioning. It's an official one of the top three Christmas movies Sorry, ever. Christmas movie. Yes. Yes. Speaking Just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it's not a Christmas movie. Yep. You Speaking. don't count because you don't see movies. For the record, I not only quoted a movie yesterday. On I, accident? No. You I knew what I was talking maybe about. You quoted it from a quote of no, a No, I would. No. And then my best friend used a quote of a movie 
and I knew what it was. Yesterday, I referenced four brothers, and then he quoted um, the scene about gonna go do bad stuff, and you can't ask questions, and the guy says, whose car are we taking um, from the town? And I knew that reference. Neither one of them is something as important to Christmas as this one. I thought he'd be proud just one time. I mean, good on you for watching movies, but those are not necessarily in like the same realm of amazing. Anywho, as I was saying, uh, the sad Jeff part is, is Sam probably hasn't seen half of these movies. I have actually seen all of them. Negative. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to go with that one. My dad used to force me to watch Christmas cartoons, so there's... That's playing in the showroom right now. No, Elf's playing in the showroom, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yes, you by can, the way, you I've can come in and Elf. see Jeff on the screens with uh, Elf. We've got some I Rudolphs. Like We've got Frosty. I know I've seen The Grinch. I don't know if I've seen the newest one. The John, Jim Carrey one? Yeah, I don't think I've seen the new one when they redid it. See, see, that's what I'm saying. And then definitely, you haven't, haven't seen, seen Die, Hard. Die Hard, which, I mean. <laughs> I hate my So. <laughs> I was trying to say, Jeff is retaliating, and we have Christmas movies <laughs> playing in the showroom right now. So, there's that. Uh, that doesn't count. It doesn't count. I was you telling count. people that yes, that was. It's true. Happening in case yes. they decide to bring in their own popcorn and, I don't know, take up shop. We have popcorn here. Just ask. You just have to we'll ask Jeff to make it. He'll Fresh make popcorn. popcorn at that. So, Friday, 15% off Rise Armament. Saturday, 20% off all optics. 15th on Sunday. This coming Sunday, Tactical Santa will be here. So, anybody that buys a 22 rifle gets a free box of 22 ammo. Uh, mini carton and you get to hang out with tactical santa it'd be exciting uh monday is knives 20 percent off cleaning kits on tuesday safes on wednesday the gift card bonus we do this every year members are getting that benefit right now as well um, so if you buy a gift card for every 50 dollars that you spend we're going to give you an extra 10 bucks Ooh. so buy 50 get 60. Buy 100, leave with 120. Um, up to $40 of free money. So up to $200 Woo! in gift cards, we'll give you an extra 40 bucks. Spread that however you want. Same person, different people. Use them as handouts to be like, hey, I've seen you. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe you um, should go you take one of them lessons. If you guys down in Florida, it, it, or in Broward County, like, hey, go get some training. Here's some training money. Please. Um, Friday, next Friday, is 20% off all ammo, uh, excluding bulk pricing, because that stuff's already down to like dirt cheap. Um, the big one, the one that, that, that Phil, Phil hates. is super, super excited, Yay. not really, um, is 50% off all training classes. So what that means is, yes, you can, but you shouldn't. I mean, unless that's what you got. But you can get twice the training for the same money. So instead of just signing up for defensive one, do one and two, because you're only paying for one of them. So it's and like getting a free one. And I do believe Phil was wrapping awesome. up the first quarter training schedule this week. Yes, the vast majority of it is on the, online. There's a handful of classes I don't have done through the first half of the year, not just the first quarter. First Ooh, half. first half, first six right. months. So first half of the Does year. Does that include like tactical triages and whatnot? Yeah, those are, I'm still waiting on okay. feedback from Okay. Yeah, so the classes, 50% off any of the classes that we teach. Yeah, 50% um, off does not pertain to that. Yeah, I just right. said people have been asking about... Yeah, there's yes. one scheduled in February. I'm going to get another one scheduled in probably April or May, but i got to wait here. back here. Right. Copy. So, we might be able to do some sort of a discount on some of the outside ones, but you have to come in and beg and plead and poke Phil and say, come on, man. Don't ask right. us. We're not in charge of that. Yeah. Um, He'll beat us. Yeah. So members, remember you get all 12 days. So starting Friday, um, you will have an online code. If you want to sign up online or come in store, we can get you signed up 50% off. Uh, Non-members, the 21st is your day on that one. 22nd and 23rd, we got 10% off handguns and 10% off rifles. 
then on New Year or Christmas Eve, all the deals for all the peoples, and then that's it. But we close at three p.m. We're we're done at three, and the Wednesday we won't be here. Mm -mm. And nope. you shouldn't try and come in. Mm -mm. Please don't. Because you should spend that time with your family. Mm -hmm. Whether you're celebrating anything or not, use it as a day. Everything except the movies is closed. Um, gas stations. I always forget about that. Yeah, gas stations and movies are about the only thing that's open. Um, and so spend the time with your family. Or if you don't like spending time with your family, go with your friends that don't have family. I just really like movie theater popcorn. Come in here and then get some popcorn and bring home and wait. Not as buttery as movie theaters. Yeah, I don't know what to say there. That's but why I go to movie theater and I'll There you go. $5. Go to the movie theater, walk in, just say I need popcorn, and then walk out. Spend Fact. your $50, get you a popcorn, and then just I, I, I used to, like, like, I had to like pass movie theater on the way home, and then we're talking like two minutes from movie theater to like house. So I'd stop in, buy my you know three dollar jumbo popcorn or whatever, and go home and watch movies for free. Whoa, 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 whoa! Three I'm, from Fra I'm from Franklin County. We get things cheap. Three dollar popcorn? Like I'm dead. I, I, I'm in Troy, which is not known for being you know filled with all the millionaires, and it's still like thirteen dollars for a popcorn. Mm -mm. Eight if you want the small one, where they're like, okay. Take out your hands no, and fill your hands up. 13's like a combo deal with like two drinks. I'm not sure. You can see, I mean, I don't go to the movies very much. because I mean, I don't, like I don't go a lot. $13 for that and then. Plus you have kids. $27 for a drink. Like, no. bring my kids there, it's, it, it's, it's ridiculous. I go when that, the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation does their thing every year, but that's. Anyway. Foundation. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. They do a 12 thing. days of Christmas. Come in and get yourself a calendar also. You can take all the fun kids and put Jack them the up Jack in the Box on is gross, Mike. Except, whatever. I just had Jack in the Box last night. It's only good when you're drunk. I was not drunk. It was after my daughter's basketball game. Which they won. Which yeah. she won. Woo! Proud of her. Yay. So it's um, what they couldn't play earlier this week, last week. Yeah, they had to cancel the games. They're done. They had like five girls that were able to play and then... The injuries have really <laughs> hit them kind of hard. So they were down to four girls, so they had to cancel not enough games, for games. And, and they just didn't have enough. So they brought down back down some of their their other freshmen that had been moved up, so that they could fill in for other injuries on the higher levels. They brought them back down, so they had six last night, and they actually Woo! got to like rotate out, and like some of them got to sit for a little bit. It was wow. pretty interesting. That's awesome. Um, yeah, they seem to have a lot more energy towards the the final. Order, so. But does your daughter still sleep as sound? Yes, yes. <laughs> like she's on one of those like 8:30. I'm like looking in there and she's snoring away. So it's good to see. I like it. And uh, I know why my parents liked it so much. It's nice. Cause why did I want to grow up? Because that sounds so good. I'm so tired. Oh man, I tell you what, kids—they got it made nowadays. You just sleep in, get up, go to school, come home, sleep again. Bunch of bums. I slept but. five hours last night. I worked till nine tonight, nine tomorrow. That's being a grown up. So speaking of which, we got ladies night tonight. We got uh, girls just want to have guns tonight. Last one of the year. There are still seats there open. There will be one next year. Um, so blood drive tomorrow on Friday. Friday. So we got blood Ten drive. There's still two. some spots still left open in that one. Uh, intermediate pistol on Sunday. CCW on Monday and next Saturday. Defensive handgun on Tuesday, so lots you of classes. You can take that with me. There you go. Unless I cancel, because I just realized Phil's not teaching it. You, you should get training by multiple trainers. I took all my private lessons with Dustin. Okay. If I'm gonna be st stuck in a room with other people, I always like Phil better. He can hear you. I Are know. You're just sucking up to him. No, I just yell at you I like all our phone. trainers, but. Like in groups, I feel is like the least monster chugging of them all. So he's a little easier to take in. <laughs> Dustin gets going. He's like a he's like the squirrel from um, Over the Hedge. Right. He was like, no, oh, that was what? That right. Was, whew, you move fast, man. They're all good. Cameron, Vinny, yes. Dustin. 
you know, they're all like, yeah, they come get training. It, it, it's fun. The instructors keep it entertaining. Um, oh, no doubt. Yeah, so you're, you're not going to go home without learning stuff. Um, even the experienced shooters, when you take class, you're going to bring something home. Sometimes it might be something as little as, oh, well, yeah, I figured this new way of doing this or that, it ends up being a little bit better. Um, you know, shooting a Glock. I have a hard time shooting Glocks. I, everything goes to the left. Not low and left, so left. I still think that I, it's because Glock has crooked barrels in there, but nonetheless. Um, I figured out how to get around that by just going through some training say, and getting somebody to go, oh, here, try doing this. So if you think for it's me, the block, if I just give it to Phil. pull the gun, if I, if I hold it like I normally would hold it or assume to hold it, everything gets yanked to the left. But if I curl my hand around just a little bit, put that finger a little further in there, magic, I can, I can hit through the center. So it's just oh, one yeah, of the little tricks ever... that you learn of like, oh, there we go. Then I can do the thing right. Phil's favorite thing is when people tell him it's the gun. Yeah, yeah. When people are like, I think my guns, yeah, my sights are off. Can you check my sights? Because, yeah. Phil it, comes back and nails They're literally, them. like, set in the gun. You literally can't adjust them. I think there might be something wrong with them. Maybe we might need to send the gun back. And you're like, literally, you cannot change the sights on that. But we'll I go, watched the we'll guy do check. that. And then you're like, well, I mean, if you shoot it properly, all the holes go where you aim. But if you start doing one of these when you're trying to shoot, amazingly, they go low. That's like my first memory of Or if you have a Glock, they have that. crooked barrels, so it shoots left. It's Some just, guy was like, no, these are wrong, and Phil's like, I'll go shoot it. And the guy's like, well, they're gonna be wrong. And Phil came back and like, all five rounds were like, on the head of like a nickel. And the guy was like, oh, I guess it's me. And Phil's like, I mean, it's one of the worst things to tell people, but because you don't necessarily want to tell them they're wrong, but sometimes you do that. Sometimes you just got to be like, well, here's this class we teach. <laughs> here's my business card. Um, we do private lessons where we teach people not to shoot left. Adam's watching. If it's, you know, if it's a Glock, you just aim to the right and then your crooked barrel gets the, the further you're shooting, the further to the right you do. Science. Right, you know. Or Astronomy. Just, another thing to help is try shooting left-handed. If you try to shoot left-handed and all the shots go the other way, it's probably not your sights. It might be that yank you do right beforehand. You know. Or it's a crooked barrel. That's a logical thing, but I'm going to have to say you're wrong. It's a crooked barrel? Yeah. Yeah. Adam's watching, even though Adam's supposed to be. He in, should be in reading about something old school. Yeah. Go read about. What? <laughs> Real quick, do you actually pay for? I didn't think you had to pay for popcorn there. I've never. He said Royal King Supply popcorn, two bucks. I've never uh, been to Royal King, so. Uh, you are wrong, lady. You should. We don't have those. We Time have Franklin Dickie, County. We have Dickie Bob's in Orchlands. I don't have a Royal King. I don't even know the one even off 30 like in like High Ridge is like a farm and home supply maybe that is what rural king is is like yeah but I think that like it's home. not a rural king though oh it's a Buckeyes that's what it is it's a Buckeyes oh well same similar thing but they, they provide you, popcorn yeah you walk in and there's a popcorn machine right there and a hmm. smiling lady would be standing there sometimes, and sometimes Ooh. she's just standing Buckeyes there. Buckeyes popcorn is free. Casey said so. I'll keep that in mind. Rural Kings are free too. I've never seen anybody have to pay two dollars. I don't even know. I mean, maybe. I feel like there like, might be one in Sullivan, but I don't. No, make. there's one. The closest ones in Wentzville, in Missouri. Otherwise, the closest ones are across the river in Collinsville. Come the one in Wentzville. It's nice. You get free popcorn. That's a. Why would no. If I need to go to a farm and home store, why would I drive like an hour to go to that when I can drive three minutes to the Orschlands in town? I don't know. I'm a millennial, not an idiot. <laughs> I mean... Just remember... It's gonna roll on. Ah, Ron was, I remember big Ron once told me, Got was it. like, millennials always going to Starbucks buying their coffee. And I was like, funny, you show up at the Starbucks cup every day. I come in with my own like pre-made coffee from home. I don't do this, this store-bought coffee. I, 
Yeah. If I'm out and about and there's coffee, like, I am a sucker for Dunkin's coffee. Dunkin' Donuts got good I've coffee. I've never had that coffee. Starbucks coffee's gross. It's really burnt. You gotta stop getting the old crappy stuff from Starbucks. Get, get, get their lighter blends. No, I just I come like into that. work, pull my death wish out of my desk, and make my own pot of coffee, and I don't mean, spend $8 every morning. I'm, I'm not against that either. <laughs> I like my own coffee. Uh, but sometimes when you go to Dunkin', you get donuts. I don't even know where like, there is a Dunkin' Donuts. Their coffee is really good. They're all over the place. I've never... Yeah, like that way and that way, and lots of there. them. There's one just down Main Chester Road. Okay, going this, like going this way though, as, as I pass going every day. Way is out by my house. You have to go up Clarkson just a little bit. Oh, okay. So it's not like on 100 where I right pass it. Okay. I was like, all I can think of is the Starbucks, like right, like catty corner from us. There's a Starbucks catty corner from us? Yeah. Where we're sitting right now. There's literally one next to Applebee's. Like if you like we're sitting at Applebee's parking lot, you would be looking Listen, straight. Listen, Starbucks at. don't have donuts. Moving I'm good. Up. So. They have right. overpriced hard boiled eggs. Do they have donuts? Nope. Nope! Sad. Let's get on to something back to the training side of things. I made a mention of it earlier, but I just, there's a whole lot and we really don't know all the information. I was looking up some of the things. There's been a, a couple of different shootings oh. lately. The Jersey one, and there's some Florida stuff. Like, I. I don't think there's enough information out there that has actually gone through and been vetted, so I really don't want to talk about most of that stuff, except that my prayers are with the officer that was shot up in Jersey, um, Jersey Shore, like, and the other civilians that are affected in both of those. Um, pretty terrible. Uh, I, you know, it, it's absolutely, but. I do want to talk about some of the basics to firearms and Phil and I were talking about this and, and he does have a really, really valid point that it's much easier for us to sit back and Monday quarterback this and because we weren't there and we don't have people shooting in, at us and, and so forth. But I just, I find it hard to believe that this guy was driving a UPS truck and shooting random people um, that would clearly change that narrative a little bit but i just there's four basic firearm rules so i think phil's got the graphic oh, cool. and i don't remember which order that he has them in but um one we, we you don't put your finger on a trigger unless you're ready to fire yes we always, always, always treat all firearms as if they're loaded. Hence the, if you have the trigger and it's, it's loaded, right? But the most important uh, of in this situation for, for here is we never point a gun at anything that we are not willing to destroy. All right, so yes, in paper, round bullets put holes. Um, in everything beyond paper, <laughs> it is going to destroy that thing. Yeah. Generally speaking, don't it's not worry about some of the weird stuffs, but nonetheless. Um, and then the, you know, the one of the, I mean, I guess there's that there's not really a mo more important, most important because no. all of them are extremely important. But be sure of your target and what lies beyond that. So in this situation, that's where I, I, you know, I do want to talk about the UPS breakdown of what actually happened at the very end there. Um, there's a great graphic and I, I, I don't know who did this, so we just pulled it and there's no sense in recreating the graphic. It's already there and it, it points out this point very well. Um, and it's about all I really want to talk about on this section of this thing right now because it's all we have for sure. But when it comes to knowing what your, tar what, what your target is and what is beyond that, when this UPS truck is driving down the road and stops in the middle of the street, um, he is surrounded by civilian cars. This is rush hour traffic. Um, and so, you know, if you look at all of the officers a, there should never be a civilian in between 
the active shooter or the, the bad guy, so to speak, and the officers. The officer's job should be to get in between and be the person in between that. Um, I know it totally sucks, but that is literally what they signed up to do. And everyone that I know that is a cop is, is generally, they, they want to be the guy in between. Um, as one of my buddies, Juan Wilson, is, is, you know, send me. Send me, put me in the middle. Um, and that's why they do this. In this situation, when you're looking at what is in between, there's many, many officers that have regular bystanders that are in between them and the perpetrator. Um, you have lines of fire that, if you know what is in between you and the target, that's one thing. But looking beyond the target, the bullets don't just stop when they run into stuff and if you don't hit the thing that you're shooting at which comes back into the everybody should be training and you are responsible for every round that leaves your gun at all periods and at all times um, if you're shooting that round doesn't stop at the first thing it comes in contact with it continues through this is, it, it, this is just such a bad thing. You can see all of those people that are in, in the line of fire, maybe not in between, but beyond. So again, to everybody, there's four basic rules to firearms. If you follow all those rules, problems drastically are reduced. Um, if you break one of those, there's a, a not necessarily a horrible issue if you are following all the rest you should be generally okay yes injuries can still happen but injuries can happen all the time it's when you break more than one of those that you really there's definitely going to be problems um, but man remember 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 Make sure that you are not pointing a gun, whether it's loaded or unloaded, um, at anything that you're not willing to destroy. There's a laser beam coming out the front end of it all the time, all the time. Never point it at anything that you're not willing to destroy. Know what is your target and what is behind that target. They're all in the line. So that round's going, it's going to do things. Now there can be which is why you need to know what's behind the target. Um, don't try and shoot in between two houses and, oh, I'll be fine. No, weird stuff can happen. Know what your target is and what's behind that target. The rest of them, I mean, obviously, if, if we're treating guns like this, they're loaded. Obviously, these guys had loaded guns. Um, but that, that's the main thing that I want to point out on that is, Yes, there's going to be more information that we're going to find out. This is Broward County. They've been known to, to make not some, some very not good decisions um, in the past. But I just really want to stress, know your target, what's beyond the target. Pay attention. Make sure it's not something that you're not willing to destroy. So, man, get some training. Yeah. Get some training. Um, 200 rounds or 200 holes in the thing is what we're hearing so far. They're all over the place. Um, we, we clearly don't know if those are entries or exits or what's going on with all that stuff, but it just goes to point to, and goes to show that like, if you're in that situation, man, you gotta get out of there. Um, it's best to get off the X. So, Come in, get some training, whether it be on the, the defensive with a firearm or a, a lot of them, the, the defense without the firearm. Hand-to-hand, yeah. um, -hand, uh, you know, situational awareness. Um, you know, there's one truck that, said, that uh, Phil was pointing out that the guy was like, whoa! And he just ditched off the side. Like, that's situational awareness. You know what's going on. He saw an opening and he took it. And he, he's out of that, that mess. So. Um, get some training, guys. Get some training. And after that, I don't know if I've got anything left. Like, get some training.
Come in, shoot some guns, have some fun, get some training. Remember, members, 12 days of fun for 12, all 12 days. Uh, for the non-members, big one, 21st, get you 50% off. Uh, yep. Members, stay tuned, you'll get an email that'll have your code that'll work for that training class. So you can buy classes to come in and hang out with Phil while in your undies. The buying of the classes, not the shooting with okay, in your undies. Phil's face was priceless. He was like, like Chris? I mean, silkies aren't undies, I'm just saying. <sighs> so you can wear them or kilt. Totally down with that. Uh, but you'll get the members will get your code so you can buy the classes what online. To you buy a then you're a member. Then and you are you good get to go, stuff. man. Okay. So if you buy your membership, you automatically come Friday. Boom. Magic. Whoa! Look at that. Boom! See, wild things happen. Um, you, the non-members, you will get an email as well that'll give you your code, but it's only going to work on Saturday. So if you want to have it all the days, sign up. Yep. Become a member. Come shoot guns. Come have fun. Ladies, you get free range today. Come play. Um, you get free range next week on Wednesday. The following Wednesday, we will not be here. The Wednesday after that, New Year's Day, guess what? Free We're lanes here. for ladies. So, all you guys that want to come shooting, bring your ladies. Bring your ladies. And it can be your daughter. There's no age requirement. Um, daughter, now, grandma, You do have neighbor. to be over 18 or older to be able to get your own lane. Um, but there's no so if you bring your daughter in i don't care what age she is as long as it's cool with you that she shoots it's cool with me that she shoots and she can get you a free lane it's only five bucks there for you to shoot with her so come in shoot some stuff have some fun uh we got deals going on all the time so That's are you it. i think we're done today a little early get some training come shoot have some fun we'll see you next week guys yep